Hello everybody, I'm Conquering History Games and uh, welcome to some more China, Mao's Legacy. Um, so we're going to try to get to 1978. That's the goal. Temporary. It's <laughs> temporary. Traitor to the revolution! Also, hi. I get it, man. I get it. People have strong feelings about these things. Um, so, what was the last thing that happened? Okay, so there, there was the war going on in Cambodia. Vietnam has invaded. Um, the Philippines are running wild. Um, oh, thank you very much, Tenbray. That I do appreciate that. Yes, I did beat Ganon the other day. And I did actually decide this morning to say screw it and we're going to jump right into Hyrule Warriors. So, we had... A lot of bit, a lot of um, trouble, just uh, kind of dealing with the frame rate. Um, OBS, even though it's free software and it's served me well for years, it is basically starting to become malware on my computer. Um, but we were able to, we were able to get things going eventually. And uh, yeah, so 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 there'll be some Hyrule Warriors in my future. And like the thing is, even now, even now, YouTube keeps telling me that there's a keyframe frequency error, and that the video's causing it's like actively buffering, even though it's not. Uh, so I don't know. It was your spa day. It was spa day. Sounds nice. Um. So anyway, we're just gonna jump into it here. Let's get moving forward. Oh, conspiracy! Uh, according to the recently received information, several senior party members who are dissatisfied with your rule have agreed to remove you at the next Congress of the Central Committee. You need The music's a little loud. Uh, you need to urgently do something if you do not want to repeat the fate of the revisionist Khrushchev in 1964. Um, oh, we want to arrest conspirators, of course. Yeah. Wait a minute, did we already do this? Did I get the wrong save file? Anyway, uh, yeah, let me turn the music down a little. There we go. Hmm. Do do. Okay, now, research is done. Let's go to science. Uh, so we want to do now full industry re-equipment, or do we want to come up here and work on our... Actually, yeah, let's do that. Let's do... Oh, no, this is not available. Okay, here we go. Yeah, final recovery from the Great Leap. Let's do that. Uh, so support of the party jumped up. You know, it's amazing what can happen when you uh, get rid of the traitors in the ranks. New event, Indian elections. Oh! Former Prime Mini Indian Prime Minister since 1966, Indira Gandhi, the head of the INC, during her reign carried out active leftist reforms in the socio-economic sphere, which even provoked a split in the INC and the exit of the right wing. During her reign, considerable success was achieved in the economy and the fight against poverty, but the state of emergency in the country since 1971 plays into the hands of the opposition from Janet Party. Um... Yeah, which accuses Gandhi of corruption, nepotism, and authoritarianism. Under these conditions, Gandhi decided to organize earlier parliamentary elections. Given that Gandhi has always pursued a pro-Soviet and unfriendly policy towards the People's Republic of China, and also entered into conflicts uh, with friendly to us Pakistan, only recently have detented in these matters, could an opposition victory strengthen their influence? There's some really run-on sentences sometimes in this game. Oh, I got a stretch. Ooh, 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 tightening muscle. Hold on. Ah. Okay. Uh, where was I? Uh, Janata Party unites people of different views from socialist to conservative and does not have a coherent program 
but the easier it will be to manage me. Although it may be, if we help Indira, will she remember this and continue moving towards the restoration of our relationship? Uh, we're gonna keep out. We're going isolationist here, after all. Um, Indian elections. Due to the fall in the popularity of Gandhi and the INC, and also because the fight against the state of emergency in the eyes of the population made them kin with the freedom fighters of India from British domination, Janata Party managed to bypass the INC. Moraji Desai became the new prime minister. The government formed by him restored diplomatic relations with the People's Republic of China, improved relations with Pakistan, and defended the Indian nuclear policy on the world stage. <clears throat> A tribunal was established to investigate abuses during a state of emergency, which failed to bring Gandhi to justice. However, in the new ruling party, there is already a active, an active split between its members regarding the future vector of the country's development. Hey there! Let's see. If I'm having muscle issues, I should look at a massage therapist for a deep tissue massage. That and cupping is a pretty good stress relief. Yeah, I've gotten massages before. I actually never got a massage in my life, though, until I think it was... Um, October of 2019, my uh, the person I was with at the time, she she paid for a, a professional massage uh, after I had been in a car accident. And somebody somebody hit me. Um, but yeah, good to see you, NPC Porky. By the way, I accepted your request on Steam. Yeah, I'll get a hold of you in the future. But uh, we're gonna be alternating Mal's legacy with other stuff going into February. I really want to diversify, diversify, diversify in terms of what I'm playing. Um, so, uh, oh, there's, yeah, there's, so we're done there. The reformism. Dun, 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 dun. Um, I wonder if I should tell you, um, should I tell this story? Yeah, I'll go ahead and tell the story. So I won't, well, I won't tell the full story, but the short version of it is uh, I once was getting massage at a place and I went to it because it was cheaper than, than other ones. Um, and it turned out the place was a brothel. Uh, you won't mess with you. Oh, yeah, yeah, NPC Porky. I usually, I would usually say maybe don't message me directly because I won't always well I guess you could but there's no guarantee I'll answer because sometimes I just leave Steve open when I'm, I'm out not even in the apartment so if I'm not answering it's probably not that I'm deliberately answering not ignoring you it might be that I'm just not actually home um so or I'm even just in another room and out of my PC anyway uh so anyway turned out the massage place was a brothel uh I did not know uh they thought I knew I didn't uh, and so that was awkward, and I did nothing because, uh, well, there was a lot of reasons why I chose not to bang a hooker, um, but, uh, there, uh, I didn't, and then it was kind of this awkward moment, it was just sort of, oh, oh, uh, okay, and, uh, and then, and then, then here's where, and again, this is the short version of the story, because there's, like, a lot of funny moments that happened, but then she said, so, do you want me to, she had this accent, she, she had, like, this western accent, and she's like, so, did you want me to still finish the massage? And, uh, freaking... And then I looked at the clock, and I went, Uh, well, yeah, I already paid for it. So, so she did finish the massage. Never been back. Uh, but that turned into a funny conversation, though. Uh... But no, I don't... I, I would, uh... I would not ever... I don't think I would ever have sex with a hooker. Um, for lo oh, sorry, shit. I keep thinking that we're... It's because it's not like Hearts of Iron 4 where you know, things are moving on the map, so sometimes we'll pause and I think I don't. But <clears throat> I don't think I'd ever have sex for, with a hooker for a lot of reasons, um, even if it was legal. Uh, the main one being I would not be allowed to donate blood or platelets anymore, and I do that a lot. So, um, yeah. Talk about awkward. Oh, yeah, it was awkward. <laughs> It was a funny story later, but uh, it uh, was pretty freaking awkward. And honestly, I felt later on, I felt bad about it because I was like, God, she probably thought she was about to make some money, or, you know, extra money. And then I went, no, 
And she's like, oh, shit. Yeah. And uh, so I felt bad about that. <laughs> All right, anyway, back to the roots. In the early 1960s, in order to cope with the devastating effects of the Great Leap, in the uh, People's Republic of China, under the leadership of Deng Xiaoping and Zhou Enlai, large-scale self-government economic reforms and the possibility of private land tenure were launched, which eventually led to the dismantling of central planning. Mao did not interfere with their conduct as he feared dissatisfaction on the part of the majority in the CCP, who still remembered the failure of the Great Leap and realizing their necessity at their time. However, now the Great Leap is far behind, and maybe at this moment the revival of the plan will allow our economy to reach a new level. On the other hand, the reform ring still believes that further reforms are needed in the economy and wants to develop them. Uh, what's this? Some tips. By 1980, you should have industry, agriculture, and services. By 50, or you'll get a backwards economy trait that can screw you. 50? I didn't know it could go that high. Damn, we're going to need a lot of friggin' money then, aren't we? Oh, looks like we don't have a choice. Old system is outlived. Party goes to reform. Start preparing for further large-scale reforms. Okay. In accord because we didn't have a choice. Uh, in accordance with the previously proclaimed course of changing socio-economic life, you, together with the most prominent reform figures, formed a special commission and began to develop a program of future economic reforms that should continue the work of Zhou and Lai. Um. Oh yeah. You like that, Christopher John Ramos? The party, or rather only its right and moderate wing, is looking forward to the uh, decisions of the commission and the part of the people to which only fragmentary rumors have flown so far are waiting for a change for the better. Hold on a sec. Look it up, something. Uh, okay. Um, wait, yeah, I'm just, uh, just doing a couple of things here. Um, just some stuff I want to do after I'm done streaming. I would need to order something. Yeah, time for the Li Feng, the, the Chinese Chuck Norris. <laughs> uh, some top for the week. Uh, hold on. Hmm. Just looking up something. Okay. Sexy Mao win. <laughs> Sexy Mao. Oh, the things you do. <laughs> they keep me hungry. Keep me running back to you. Wait, how'd that song go? Anybody know what I'm talking about? Hmm. ...and achieve certain results in this. Mass campaigns are no longer observed. However, the repressive grip of the state since the time of cultural revolution has not yet weakened, and the reformers, together with the people, are now demanding to unscrew the mut... the, the, the unscrew the nuts. Hold on. Ah. Um... In addition to civic liberalization, many consider it necessary to also ease the pressure on traditions and religion, which increased many times during the uh, Cultural Revolution. Some advocate only for the cessation of anti-traditionalist rhetoric with the preservation of state atheism. Others propose, according to the Soviet model, to declare nominal freedom of consciousness while keeping religious institutions and figures under strict state control. You decide. Yeah. Chiang Kai Shrek. What are you doing in my China? <laughs> All right. Um, loosen control. Wait, now do nothing enough concessions. Limit with small civil liberalization. Loosen control. And put pressure on tradition. Loosen control and only go to the supervision of religion. Um. All right. So. All right, yeah, so put pressure on tradition. So, like, we're we're being libs. We're not going back to the old ways, but we are, um... We're going to, uh... You know, let people worship or whatever. 
As part of the continuation of the struggle with the excesses of the Cultural Revolution, the repressive control in China has gradually reduced slightly, and the active struggle against traditionalism was also stopped, which marked a slight but reduced pressure on religion. State atheism, however, has not gone away. Despite some underground anti-state sermons of priests, the people in general are pleased. Hopefully this will not lead to problems. Um, Chiang Kai-shrek, Chiang Kai-shrek, because he's Chiang Kai-shrek, bro. Um, all right. Uh, now we were going to, yeah, let's go to the economy. So you were saying it's possible to get, are you talking about up here that these need to be at 50, right? I thought you meant down here they got to be at 50. That would have been a little bit crazy. You know what that reminds me though? Let's uh let's look at the view tab. Do we still have Okay, cool. Uh no, ineffective construction. We still need full industry equipment, but can we do the uh we can put our agriculture up now though, right? Hmm. Hold on. We need to to deactivate, we need full industry re-equipment. Let's, let's go ahead and do that, actually. Um, huh. Hold on. Ah, it's in progress. I don't think we can change it. Hmm. Okay, support of the party's good. Support of the people's good. Liberalization of mines is at 17.9% can't yet okay so then uh what what should we put the money into what what does services do again i really wish that there were tool tips so you could just like you know put your fucking um hover over it and it would tell you exactly what does what but uh let's see put money in the gold reserves to fight corruption okay hmm all right dun, 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 dun. Don't be isolationist doesn't work with your basically frozen in time with no color TV. Oh no. Crescent in the eyes. Ooh, Pakistan time. Uh, Zulfikar Ali Bhutto was the president of Pakistan since 1971 and the prime minister since 1973. Bhutto followed the course of Islamic socialism, which was reflected in broad social programs and the nationalization of many sectors of the country. Um, of uh, the economy, I meant. In, uh, in foreign policy, he adhered to anti-imperialism and tried to build friendly relations with neighboring countries, left the pro-American CETO and the British Commonwealth, and managed to detente with India after the Third Indo-Pakistani War. However, after Bhutto's Pakistan People's Party won the election in 1977, the opposition accused him of fraud and began protests that Bhutto... Ooh, excuse me, harshly suppressed. All this does not like the army, which led by General Muhammad Zia al-Haq and with the support of the United States is preparing a military coup. By preventing it and giving a Bhutto material assistance for the construction of socialism, we could firmly consolidate our positions in Pakistan. Um, Bhutto, now I think historically Bhutto got executed, right? Let me, let, hold on, let me look that up. I'm trying to remember. Maybe I'm, or was Bhutto the guy who executed his predecessor? Pakistan. Let's see. Benzai Bhutto. No, 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 no. That, that's Benazir. I'm looking for Zufulkar. Here we go. Uh, let's see. Military coup. Yeah, Bhutto declared not guilty of murder, but was sentenced to death. Yeah. Yeah, so this guy died in real life. Or, uh, anyway, so we want to keep out, right? Or do we want to say do not interfere? Well, I, I guess if, like, we're going to be... 
in huh. Um, you guys are arguing about Maoism in the chat. Rad left for fools, libs for chads, boo libs. Um, all right. At around midnight on July 4th, General Zia al Haq ordered the 111th Brigade from Wawal Bindi to encircle all the main federal government buildings, police stations, and the National Assembly. Um, after that, he ordered the police to arrest Zulfikar Bhutto, ministers and other leaders from the Pakistan People's Party. In an address to the population on national television, General Zia stated that the National Assembly of Pakistan and the Provincial Assemblies would dissolve, and the Constitution of Pakistan was no longer valid. The new government headed for the Islamization of Pakistan and returned to pro-American foreign policy, which did not prevent us from maintaining close and mutually beneficial relations with them. Hmm. So somebody was once saying that um, you could you get that like one of the more difficult things to do in the game. Uh, yeah, oh yes, but Spen, 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 you're right, you're right, you're right. Uh, money, 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 money. Hmm. Well, I guess let's yeah, just keep putting it in the reserve so I'm above the percentage maybe. Uh, is that yeah? But it's like it's creating a Maoist Afghanistan. Uh, because you gotta have them not align with either the um, Americans or the Soviets. All right. Uh, problems of Stavropol agronomist. Our special services managed to get access to important information according to it. In the uh, so Soviet Union, there are quite serious problems in agriculture multiplied by the heavy raid fall this year. Agricultural Secretary Fidor Kulikov, Secretary of the CPS Central Committee, is one of the most likely successors to the current Soviet leader, Leonid Brezhnev. Um... According to the information obtained by our agents, Kulikov is in favor of actively studying and introducing... Ah. Stretching again. Oh, damn! Introducing the experience of Hungary and Yugoslavia into Soviet agriculture. In essence, decentralizing the management of collective farms and state farms, creating agricultural cooperatives based on family contracts and soul farms. We can use this to discredit him at the forthcoming plenum of the Central Committee of the CPSU and thus remove this dangerous reformist from the road. Uh, we can organize a leak of information to the Central Committee on the CPSU and discredit Kulikov. That will take agents. Um, we don't need that. That's not optional. We'll save that for the future. Huh. Hmm. So we can, we can keep this in our pocket. Huh. Okay. So, Kulikov, I guess we're wanting Kulikov to uh, take charge at some point. And then we'll own his ass. Save it for the future. Of course, he'll also maybe be a reformist like me. All right. And nothing happened. Kulikov continues to occupy the post, advancing to the top reform-minded party members, um, led by his ally in the Stavropol region, Mikhail Gorbachev. Did you guys hear that train? <laughs> All right. Hmm... Reformism. I like how the Gorbachev thing is almost a dun dun dun. Go to the doctrine tab and legalize the liberals by clicking on the left box next to liberals. Really? 
prohibition support. Oh, yeah, like we haven't even been able to mess with this yet. Uh, but I don't think I could just do that. Hmm. Oh, oh, so that means it's legal when we do that. Ah, uh, do we want to shut out anybody like the left radicals? Are you sure it's the right button? Because over here, that's where it says support, if it's if I click on this side. I think right now I'm pro... I don't know. Oh, do I want to change the family policy? Go unlimited family. <gasps> unlimited. Hmm. Alright, alright, fine, fine, fine. Do we want to go unlimited family? Huh. We left rads love rising up. You gotta rise up when Mao's got you on your knees. Rise up. Wait, no, no, they, they like it when Mao has them. Left rads love it when Mao has them on their knees, you know what I mean? All right, more money came in. Time to spend it. All right. There's a conspiracy against me, huh? Condoms, birth control, and family planning is clearly against China's interests. It, it, indubitably. War is over! After a long and bloody fighting conflict, the... Cambodian-Vietnamese war finally ended. The winner in the end was the Vietnamese side, Vietnam side having achieved their goals in the war. I was noticing that, uh, that, uh, not really letting us do much, or that we, we never invaded. Long live the peace. I guess it was because we're isolationists. Alright, science, bitch. Let's get to it. Why is this still not available? Shit. Oh, it has to be 1978 before we're allowed. Okay, fine. Are we re it? Who cares, man? I guess let's take it because there's nothing else to do. No, it's, this is not available. Huh. Uh, anyway, let's, let's go to the... Go over here. Put more into science, bitch. I need the second one? What do you mean? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Research in agriculture now. Sun Yatsen the Chad. Thad Yatsen. New event. Oh, yeah, Egypt time. I'm sorry. Uh, since 1970, Egypt has been headed by Anwar Sadat. Immediately after he came to power, he began a departure from the policy of Gamal Abdel Nasir and the ideas of Pan-Arabism and Arab Socialism. During the so-called Corrective Revolution, almost all of Nasir's associates were arrested, including Vice President Ali Sabri. You know what? I gotta go get some more Swedish fish. Oh, just be a minute. Gosh, why am I so freaking tired? Oh, my muscles. I just feel so tight. I think I just didn't really sleep too well last night. saying uh in 1971 the united arab republic was renamed the arab republic of egypt which meant a break with the course of pan-arab integration and in 1973 began the rapprochement of egypt with the united states which was accompanied by a rise in anti-soviet sentiment and a break with libya and syria <laughs> excuse me did i take a nap today no 
I think I will after this stream, though. I'm probably going to go another half hour, then I want to lay down for a while, and I want to do some chores and stuff and um, other things. And then uh, I'm going to stream a new game tonight. Well, it's not a new, new, new game, but it's a game I haven't played on the channel in a very long time, which I think will be fun. And we're going to try to do a whole campaign of it uh, in, in one go. <clears throat> Excuse me. What is it, Caesar? Um... In 1975, Sadat, um, wait, hold on. Sadat uh, attempted to destabilize the ruling Arab Socialist Union, and this year, an unprecedented case, began negotiations to restore relations with Israel. Liberalization of the economy and the penetration of Egyptian foreign capital into the market led to widespread discontent among the general population, and the war with the once fraternal Libya finally undermined Sadat's authority. Mass rallies flooded the whole country, demanding the resignation of the president. We can uh, take advantage of this and achieve the return to power of supporters of the socialist court. The USSR and the fraternal Arab countries clearly will not object, but the reaction of the United States will not be so warm. Hmm. This is too radical interference in the affairs of Egypt. Do we really need this, North Africa? The affairs of Egypt do not bother us. Swedish fish, they are red fish, so they're mouth fish. Yeah. Uh huh. Okay. Anwar Sadat went to a number of concessions to the protesters, promising to increase subsidies to the CPG, to the poor, and begin rearming the Egyptian army and its training on the NATO standard so that no one else could take advantage of our weaknesses. This allowed him to stabilize the situation in the country. Sadat is expected to visit Israel in the final restoration of relations with it. Hmm. Let's see, so state mechanism should be higher than other things because um, it helps everything else's efficiency. But yeah, we're doing that. Okay. Let's get on pausing here. <laughs> yeah, naps are good for the brain. I'm gonna definitely take one after the stream. Fate of the Panchen Lama. Um, Comrade Chairman, a letter from a large group of Tibetan clergy has come to the Central Committee in which they urge you to consider releasing 10th Panchen Lama from prison. Panchen Lama is the second Lama after the Dalai Lama in the Gelug School of Tibetan Buddhism. Note MSS. What? Uh, Lobsang Trinli Lundrav uh, Chokye Gyaletsen, aka 10th Panchen Lama, refused to plead with the Kuomintang people to Taiwan in September of 1949 and supported the formation of the People's Republic of China, later playing an important role in reuniting Tibet with our motherland. However, he then sharply condemned the Chineseization of the Tibet Autonomous Region, for which he was declared the enemy of the Tibetan people in 1964. Arrested and imprisoned in the Beijing Xinjiang prison, where he currently resides. We can free him, thereby significantly improving relations with Tibetan monks and the population of the autonomy. But does it make sense? Maybe it is better to eliminate the unreliable Lama and get our protege Gyalets. Uh, Gyaltsin Norbu elected as Pachin Lama. Hmm. Alright. Can't keep him in prison any longer is not an option. This is too much pressure on him is not an option. Uh. And then made him under a heart attack and forced to elect Norbu as new Pachin Lama. Release and rehabilitate. Release and let go back to Lasha, but under the supervision of the Ministry of State Security. Hmm. Did I do max liberalization? I think so. Are you talking about the mausoleum thing? Hmm. No, I don't think it would be a good idea to eliminate him. 
the Tibetan people will get freaking pissed. Um, I think we might have him under supervision. Yeah. You think we should rehabilitate him? Hmm. All right, let's try to rehabilitate him. Tenth Pachin Lama never forgave the Chinese authorities for the offense he suffered. Immediately after returning to Lhasa, or Lhasa, he began to speak with inflammatory speeches. For example, thanks to the release, of course, there was a development, but the price paid for this development was more than the benefits. To establish contacts with supporters of the Dalai Lama, send messages to the world community with the criticism of the situation in China and in the Tibet in area in particular. Finally, um, uh, finally, when the Supreme People's Court ruled to arrest the Panchen Lama, he fled to Bhutan, where he moved to India and became part of the so-called Tibetan government in exile. The leadership of India refused to give him to us, and now the camp of the Tibetan separatists is replenished with an extremely important figure. This clearly does not turn out to our advantage. Shit. So I didn't go. I didn't go live enough. Crap. What new event? New 1956. Interesting news came from Hungary. Bela Bizuk, a conservative communist who actively participated in the suppression of the Hungarian uprising. In 1956, uh, and was the Minister of the Interior from 1957 to 1961, and now Secretary of the HSWP, always opposed Kadar's economic and political liberal reforms. I'm going to stand up, guys, for a bit. <sighs> Can you guys hear me still okay? Realizing that words couldn't stop him, he made a group of similar conservatives around himself and decided to organize an inter-party coup, asking for support from the head of the KGB, Yuri Andropov. However, according to our data, Andropov simply betrayed uh, Bizuku's plan to Kadar, which Bizuku himself doesn't know yet. Now we have a chance to help Bizuku with our agents and return Hungary to the path of building true socialism. Or you can always try to raise a new uprising in Hungary with the help of small arms, supplies, and intelligence coordination. This time, truly communist and pro-Chinese, then Hungary is guaranteed to be ours, but we must act quickly. Uh, so is my... Okay, so you guys, you guys can still hear me okay? Good, good, good. I just wanted to make sure. Okay. Let's see, Europe is far, Asia is more important, organize the support and coordination of Bell, helping the organization of pro economy stuff. Um, I think we're just gonna stay out of this one. Just, yeah. Hungary's not our problem. Okay, we did not respond to the Hungarian events. Kedar launched an attack on Besuku and his supporters. It seems that they and Bishku himself will soon be waiting for resignation, and in their place, Kadar will promote young reformers. All right, we're in November of 77. We're getting closer. Burmese, uh, Road to Socialism. That's funny, I was playing as Burma in uh, AOE recently. Um, after the military coup in 1962, the government in Burma passed over to Ne Win, and the Burma Socialist Program Party handed, headed by him proclaiming the construction of Burmese socialism. However, excuse me, excuse me, Jesus, that's a freaking Swedish fish, I guess. However, this socialism was characterized by the preservation of the private sector, the cultural, excuse me, the cultivation of chauvinistic religious and national prejudices. In fact, a departure to isolationists, as well as mass repressions of all opponents of Ni Win. Therefore, the various left-wing forces had fallen into the party after the start of the open mass recruitment in 1971. 
began to increasingly oppose Nguyen win in his policies. According to our data, mass purges are being prepared in the Burma Socialist Program Party against the communists and other leftists. And if we had already made contact with Burma, we could change the balance of forces in their favor with the help of our special services. However, we can also provide additional assistance to the leadership of Burma and strengthen our relationship. Hmm. This is not concern us and helped any win and establish friendly relations. Cost me money. We'll not be able to help them. Hmm. Uh yeah, we're 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 doing isolationism, right? We've lower stuff with the different the major powers. In the BSPP, mass purges against the communists and sympathizers took place, which further strengthened the regime of Ni Win. Hmm. All right, uh, let's spend some more money, baby. Hmm. Um. Services. We just keep putting stuff in the reserve. Okay. Homeland of democracy. In Greece, still recovering from the influence of the regime of the colonels deposed in 1974. Um, parliamentary elections are scheduled. After the restoration of democracy in the country, there were two dominant parties. The liberal conservative New Democracy and the left-wing Social Democrats from PESA, which stands for the Pan-Hellenic Socialist Movement. Uh, since the direction of Greek policies, uh, like membership in NATO, which the country actually left in 1974 due to the uh, Turkish invasion of Cyprus, and in the European Union is actually being uh, decided, the outcome of these elections can seriously affect the situation in the country. Hmm. All right, so we can support PASOK, support new democracy, we'll keep out. Mm -hmm. Well, I think it's actually going to be more like 45 minutes, guys. Yeah, I'm really tired. I'm going to end the stream and go right to bed for a bit. Um, but, you know, okay, so let's... Uh, Support, uh, new democracy. So we can get that trade. Our special services assisted the new democracy in conducting their campaign and actively disrupting the PASOK campaign. They also managed to achieve the ascension of the coalition with the new de democracy of some small right-wing parties, which together led them to victory in the elections. The new government intends to carry out further economic reforms aimed at ensuring the membership of Greece in the EEC, and to restore the country's activities in NATO. Okay. Woo! Yeah, it's just been a, a couple nights of poor sleep in a row, and also just a couple frustrating days in general. What's up, Caesar? Don't worry, I'll feed you before I nap. Okay, what time is it? Yeah, I'll feed you before I nap, Caesar. Don't worry. Uh, oh, shoot. But we were in safe, so I guess let's do one more event and we'll call it a day. Uh, coalition Collapse. Since 1968, a precarious cooperation has been established in Iraq between the ruling Ba'ath and the Iraqi Communist Party within the framework of the Progressive National Patriotic Front of Iraq. In May 1972, two representatives of the ICP were officially introduced to the government, though the Communist Party was still an informal position. However, the cooperation to sh turned out to be short-lived. Recently, the Ba'ath leadership in Iraq has once again begun to unleash oppression against the communists, uh, but there is still room for maintaining a fragile coalition. Maybe we should somehow intervene in the situation. Nah. Not worth it, Kadeb. Yeah. Excuse me? Yeah, we don't care. Not worth it. Keep it isolationist, baby. Having suffered for some time and unsuccessfully trying to establish relations with the Bafas leadership, the ICP eventually decided to break. Uh, in April 1979, communist ministers withdrew from the government. 
Communist Party ceased its participation in the National Front. In May 1979, the leadership of the ICP decided to withdraw from the PNPF and go to the elite in the illegal situation. Hmm. All right. Uh, yeah, you're right. Let's get to 1978. We're gonna make it after all, I think. Yes. All right, economy. Um, all right. No. Okay, that's what we'll do. Anyway, that's it. Thank you very much for. Oh wait, hold on. Let's go to the world map. Save. Okay, thank you very much for joining me on Conquering History Games. Sorry that this was a bit of a slower stream, uh, but, or slower, so shorter is what I meant to say. Um, yes, yeah, save. I, I did save, I think. Yeah, I saved. I did, right there. Okay, anyway, thank you very much. Um, I'm Conquering History Games, and I might stream later on tonight a brand new game. Y'all should uh, check that out. And if you want to, please drop a like on your way out. I will see you later. I'm going to go nap. Caesar, prepare for snuggles.